Wait, is it lunch or dinner? It's a liner. Oh, it's a liner. Never heard of that, but we about to have it. that I have for you today is what can I do to love you more? Well, I do like the fact that you compliment me every morning. Well, not every morning, but lately you have. So I think if you continue to do that, like when I first wake up, first thing I want to hear is compliments. I don't want to hear about work or like as soon as I wake up, you know, like, oh, did you send me this file? Or this? Like, that's the worst you kind of wake up to. So I think if you just tell me, like, keep just giving me, like, you know, positive energy and give me a compliment about something, you know, in the morning. Or I guess, you know, well, I don't know. I think, I think that this, you are open to like doing a lot of stuff. So I don't want to say be more open because you're already open, but yes, live more in the moment, basically. Like I think that that would tell me how much you love me too. You know, taking, just living in the moment, like taking the time that whatever we have or what we're doing for what it is right now, because we may not have it again, or you know, you know, we want it again. We never know what may happen. God forbid, to it. So you know, I think that when you live life, I feel love at that point. Like oh, I love the fact that you are living your life. I want you to take advantage of the opportunities because you work so hard to achieve these things. And sometimes when you achieve the things that you work so hard for, you don't really like sit in the moment to enjoy them because you're still working and you're trying to work on the next thing. So, you know, I would just say compliment me more and live life a little bit more. And I definitely see, uh, I, I feel myself definitely trying to work on the fact of being present and being in the moment. So a lot of times I think about the future or even sometimes we have conversations about the past, but being present in that moment and enjoying that moment a lot more, I feel like I can definitely work on that. And it'll help, you know, work, being grateful and um, just being appreciative of the present actually helps to shape the future on exactly what you want when you're actually giving gratitude to where you are and what you have. So definitely want to take that heed to that so that I can um, you know, to be more present with you and then also to just give you more compliments, shower you with more love, especially in the morning. I can definitely see morning times is just starting off the day, you're getting the pace of it. I know I've said I'm going to wake up and start doing um, um, doing a lot of chi and qigong and, and all types of meditation. So just me getting that type of energy and then pushing it over to you in the morning is something that I'm definitely, definitely going to work with. I appreciate that. Sure. So what can I do to show you more love? Show you more love. Um, I would say probably just uh, probably working on your patience with me. So uh, I think sometimes if, when it comes down to either you asking me to do something, I might not do it exactly when you say do it, and so you might you know your patience might run with them with that. Or if you're telling me something, then I might not. Um, I might not be really, really fast to listen because I'm like already kind of preoccupied with something. And so, you know, having patience there. And then also, like maybe when um, when I frustrate you in a certain term, whatever that may be, if I do frustrate you, just kind of take a moment and first before you react, 
Um, and again, so I, I kind of look at that all as patience. It's having more patience with me, taking a breather, taking a break, and then kind of responding to the situation at that point. And then, um, I mean, all the rest of the areas, I feel like you just always shower with me with love. Uh, I definitely appreciate you cooking, like when I'm hungry, and I might not even have to say that I'm hungry, and you always take the initiative to make sure that we fed. And um, you know, I just love the, I just love the vibration of your love. You know, so I always appreciate you know, whenever you are really, really bright and high in energy, and you know, you always push that over to me, and I appreciate it. I have to see me, really, when it comes down to it, me trying to be more open with your love. When you are ready to share that with me, sometimes I feel like I might close off or I might already be preoccupied and busy, and I feel like I should be more open to receiving your love sometimes. I know that probably ain't got nothing to do with you asking me the question, but, uh, you know, just as far as us getting our love and, st and keeping our vibrations high, I feel like it's a lot of things that I know how to do. Patience. There's certain things I just won't bring to your attention. I feel like that's what it is too. It's like I just have to handle it. Like I feel like sometimes it's like because when I tell you to do something, it's like I'm already don't want to ask you to do anything. Like it's not like the first response. Like I'm just gonna ask you to do something. And so I just feel like sometimes when I do ask you to do something, because you don't know that. I already went through the process of trying to figure it out, or trying to do this, and then I ask you. I think that's when the frustration comes, because I've already been working on it. Not necessarily the frustration with you, but just like, you know, already, like, you know, sometimes it's just, yeah, so it's just, it's not, sometimes it is you, sometimes it's not, but I try to be less frustrated and try to handle things that I feel like can be handled. I think that that's what's frustrating too, it's just like, I am expecting for you to move when I, not when I ask you to, but, like I said, because I only ask you when I feel like I really need to, I do expect you to act on it, like, right when I ask you. It's like, I don't, it's like a lot of like, times I don't know that you're working on it. I don't know what happened previously in I know, the situation. That's why I just said and so when you ask me, it's like, yeah. See, I was just trying to explain it if I could. But, you know, if you, you know, if you ask me to do something and I'm already preoccupied with something, if you give me just a second, just give me a second instead of jumping up and doing it, I am going to stop what I'm doing. I am going to actually do it. So you don't have to feel like I have to take care of it because, you know, I don't feel like he's going to do it. I'm going to do it, it's just that it may not be the split second that you'd be expecting or I don't know previously what happened, all the frustration or all the work that you already put into it, so now you're ready for it to be done, but I just wasn't there for that process. You know, so, you know, I think I it also comes it. with trust too, trusting that you're actually going to do it because sometimes you have shown me that you're, you are forgetful and when you wait, you know, things don't get done right away. And so, you know, I just think that has something to do with me just trusting the fact that, you know, you're human too, and you're going to forget sometime. So just trusting the fact that you can actually do it when, I mean, I know that you can do it, that's why I asked you. But the fact that you're actually doing it, I don't know if it fits in your priority sometimes. I don't mind reminders. Like if, you remind, like if you tell me to do it and then I say, okay, I'm going to do it in a minute and then five minutes, ten minutes or whatever goes by that you felt like it should have been done, I don't mind you reminding me again. It's just, you know, just don't have the frustration with it or just don't expect me to do it at the split seconds. But if you remind me again, like, hey, babe, I told you to do it like ten minutes ago and I'm like, oh, 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 yeah, and I might have forgotten it. You know, I, I'm like, you know, agree with that. Yeah. I understand that you have pro don't have a problem with me reminding, but I do. I feel like if I'm reminding you, that same time, I could have just figured it out myself or, you know, had a solution to myself at that time. That's, that's what I'm saying. That that like, if you figure it out without me having to do it, then That's why I said that before I bring it to you, I'm going to try to fix it on my own or do whatever it is on my own first. Then if I'm not unable to, then I'll come to you. And then I, I'll have more patience at that time. Yeah. yeah, I feel like, like you said, if you're bringing it to me, you already tried to handle it yourself. Right? So you are at, you're already at that point where you need my help at that point. And I do want to help you. And I am going to help you. So I want you to trust that I'm going to help you. It's just, um, you know, it might not be at that when, exact that's time. The problem. You, when? Uh, we, we always have a problem with time. But if, you, in if, if it's something very important, like you know 80% of the time I'm dropping everything to try to get it done for you. you know, or, do you, or do you not feel like that? Yeah, I feel like when things are important to what, I'm going to say not to what you're doing, because things that I'm doing is important too, that I feel like you take as an importance, but... If it's not going into what we're currently doing, then sometimes I do feel like what I'm asking for is not a priority at that time. Which could be true, because if I'm asking for 
you know, when you take the trash out and you're working. To you, the trash is, is not a priority, you know, so that's, that can wait a few hours. To me, that can't wait a few hours because the majority of the time I'm asking you because it's smelling, or it's in a way, or I know the fact you can feel some away. If I'm like, oh, I'm going to go take out the trash. And so, you know, it's like if I remind you that at that point, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. You know, so I just feel like sometimes it is just, you know, I'll try to work on my frustration with you. Um, and like I said, I'll try to make it to where I'm not asking you if I really need to be done right away. Like, if something I'm asking you to do, then I should either just do it, or if it's something that you have to do and I can't do, just let you know that, hey, it's time sensitive. Like, oh, if we need to do it, like, right away, it's time sensitive. Or if it's like, oh, I can wait until about 8 o'clock, then maybe if I be so specific, you'll understand. Put a time limit on it. Okay. Like, if I be specific, because yeah, you're somebody you. that just... If I, if, I, if I just say, well, just do it today, it'll end up being tomorrow. Like, you know, you're not somebody to do well with that. You like to take control of your own time and your own thing. And I feel like that gets in the way of that. So instead of me asking for you to change that, because, you know, that's really what you do all the time. That's unrealistic. So I feel like I can just change the way that I say certain things to you that needs to get done. But I'll try to be better. Alright guys, so that was our table talk for today. As always, I've learned something and I've grown from this. And sometimes it'll be like bullets or shots fired. But at the end of the day, I feel like I grow stronger and I'm able to love her even deeper and more when we're able to bring these things up to each other. So We hope you guys learned something from our discussion about love. And it's just really important to talk about the reasons why you love someone and the reasons you change all the time. You know, the more that you grow, the more reasons you're going to find out why you love your partner. And I feel like it's important to tell your partner these things because, number one, they may not really feel like that for themselves. And number two, they may not even notice how you really, really feel. And I think that sometimes you need that validation from the person that we hold as far as high value, which is always our partner. Um, and I feel like the love that, that you have with your partner is a reflection of the love that you have with God. You know, it's a relationship that you have to constantly grow, grow, grow. But the main thing is about truth and about trust and about love. These principles that we're telling you about are really, really powerful when it comes down to even just building a unmovable, shakeable love. Because a love is a combination, a combination of all of these principles too. But um, I think love is powerful. I think it's one of the one biggest, like the biggest, you know, tool in Earth. Period. You know, you can really change a lot of things from just loving something hard. You know, even despite of what it looks like, a face value or despite you know what your definition of love could be because that's that can be different too your definition of love to so talk about those things may add value to someone else so love is just important and i hope you guys really learn something from our discussion about that yeah i think what you said about the definition of love like everybody has different types of love everybody loves differently and you really do want to ask that person what that definition of love is because when you know what they want, then you can give it to them. If you don't know what they want, you can't give it to them. Or vice versa, if the, if the person doesn't share with you how they would like to be loved, but they have the expectation that you're gonna love them exactly how to wanna be loved, then that's where a lot of miscommunication comes from, a lot of mixed signals. And you know, you both might really wanna love each other, but you just don't know how to love the other person or how that other person wants to be loved. And so that can um, definitely, hopefully that helps you guys out. It definitely helps us out and getting deeper and deeper with our love. I feel like I grow deeper in love with you every single day. So I definitely appreciate these conversations. As always, if you're part of the SHPC squad, we appreciate you tuning in and watching us. If you're not a part of the SHPC squad, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the notifications button so that you can get notified of every video that we put out. All right, and also make sure you guys put a comment below. We love seeing your comments. We love seeing your likes on the video. If you have something that you want to express about the particularly unique type of way that you have a love in your relationship, or if you have a unique way that you like to be loved and you want to share it with us, please open up, share it with us, just like we're sharing with you. And we appreciate you as always. Make sure you like and share this video.
because you never know who life or a marriage or relationship you can be saving from sharing this video. Make sure you like this video, give us a, a thumbs up, and make sure you share, 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 share. Turn those notifications on so you can get all of our videos as soon as we post them. Absolutely, guys. See you guys next time. See you.